I'm here with Clayton, and Clayton and I have worked together for, gosh, over three years now, um, I believe. It's been pretty great watching your business turn into what it is, and I was I'm, I appreciate you coming on today. I just wanted to talk a little bit about your business and, and how it kind of came to fruition and how we, how we started working together and all of that. So thanks so much for joining me. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, so just, I guess, yeah, a, a background of the business. Um, I've been, uh, I guess, of course, interested in, in doing something like this for a long time. Uh, I had kind of bought and renovated and flipped a few homes and thought this would be, you know, be nice to have my own license and, and, uh, and be able to help other people do kind of what I was doing. And, and, and at the time I was mostly working for a commercial construction company and, and also, you know, but just really was create, you know, craving and interested in a, in a different lifestyle and, and really liked the uh, lifestyle, the real estate. That's awesome. So when we started, you, you had just barely gotten your license, correct? Like when we started coaching together. Yep. And, and you, yeah, and I got, to... I got my license and then started <laughs> then, and then had to figure out what to do really. I mean, I did, I didn't, I didn't, I, I wasn't already working with a brokerage. Um, I knew I wanted to interview lots of brokerages. I knew I needed help on my first couple of deals, you know, and so I, I was really looking for a mentor to kind of get me off the ground, you know, cause I figured I'd, you know, I figured I'd probably figure you know, be okay in the long run, but I, I really needed some, some short term, you know, how do the, you know, what are the mechanics of this? How does it work? And from somebody who's already done it. Also, just to clarify, you had a job, right? You started out part-time real estate agent. Your goal was to move into that full-time real estate agent. But at first, you had a, a, a great job. Like you were, I mean, I call it golden handcuffs. You were kind of, you were set with that, yeah. that week, you know, bi-weekly paycheck or whatever. But your goal was always to get to be a full-time real estate agent. Yeah, absolutely. That that was the, that, that had been, I mean, that had been my goal really for, three or four years before I ever got my license and, and, and chipping away at the, at the coursework, it, you know, that took me like a year and a half to get that done working on it evenings and weekends and just so many other things. And I had a young, we, we just had a, our first child. And so I just, I, I was nervous of course about, you know, and I had a good job and I was nervous about leaving that good job to, um, you know, potentially struggle as a, as an entrepreneur. So you talked a little bit about, uh, kind of your mindset. You wanted, you wanted a mentor right out of the gates to make sure that, um, you know, you just started off on the right foot. Yeah. So then can you tell me a little bit about how the experience of coaching with me has gone? I mean, we've stuck, stuck with it together for over three years, but, um, you know, what, what's been the, what's been the pros and the cons or, you know, what's your overall feeling about the experience? Uh, my overall feeling about the coaching with you has, has been, uh, abs good. I mean, that's why we're doing this phone call, but, yeah. but I think that deeper than that, um, what I've really gained out of it is, uh, your, the consistency that we've been able to meet has been, I think a, a game, you know, it has made all the difference in my business because I'm busy. I probably am a, a, easily distracted, probably have a little ADHD or something. And, uh, being able to rely on meeting with you every week, once a week, and you also following up with the commitments we had made from the previous week, uh, really helped me. I, th I feel like to get my business on track from er early on, you know, that, that, that we were, and we were, I, I feel like, of course, more aggressive in the beginning than we are now, but, but, uh, that aggressive, that, that aggressive approach to just get me, you know, get me up and off the ground. It, it's kind of like, uh, when you're learning to ride a bike and, and your, your parent is holding onto the seat, you know I mean? Like we were, we were aggressively, you know, connected, tied together. I feel like for the first several months, maybe even the first year and a half until I really felt like I was able to ride, you know, on my own. And then, uh, and then after that, it was just consistent, you know, follow up just to make sure that things were going okay, answer my questions. But, you know, by then I had done, you know, several transactions. And so I had, you know, a pretty good idea of what was going on. And, and but really, I guess back to your, back to the 
to make the point of your of your question, um, the the consistent follow up and and the attention to the commitments, you know, really made all the difference. You know, I feel like I've worked with other mentors who they call, they check in, they don't really remember the commitments, or they're too afraid to ask you about the commitments that you made last time, and so um, and so there's you know, there's really no you know advancement but because you were willing to bring it up and i knew you were going to bring it up even though i may not have done what i said i was going to do you know then it then it got me back on track for next week you know so that was that was a big that was a big help especially in the beginning that's awesome well i wish i could take all the credit but you are one of those agents that actually went out and implemented which is uh from a coaching standpoint it's what we want, right? We all we want to work with people who are willing to, to take the advice and implement it into their business. And it's not like my way is the only way and, and we adapted and, and changed it to your personality, but you went out there and made it happen. So, um, you know, definitely all of your success is owed to you, but that's that's really cool. I appreciate you saying that. Well, and, and to, that, to that point, not to toot my own horn, but I feel like you did a really good job of uh... – if I had an idea, if I had heard something from somewhere else, if I wanted to try something that was maybe a little, a little, uh, unorthodox, you know, you, you didn't have any negative things to say about it, you know? And so we'd find out whether or not it was a good idea or not. And, and, uh, and I, so I think you're, you're right that there are, there are so many ways to be successful in this business. Your way is not the only way you've of course, you know, had, there were plenty of times where I said, Hey, have you done this before? And you said, yeah, I've done that before. And let's, you know, and, and here's some tips. And so I, you know, you had plenty of experience to kind of help bounce ideas off, but, uh, that was a really, you know, uh, nice, uh, bolstering of my confidence that you were willing to let me try it out. Let me struggle a little bit or let me experiment. Yeah. I, I can't tell you how many times I have learned, from my coaching sessions with agents like you know brand new agents never never done anything and they've got these amazing ideas that um that i had never even thought of so i try to be open-minded I, I think yeah. there's a lot of value there but yeah your your ideas were awesome the cool thing about what you did is is you researched like you you didn't just come to, to me with an idea and that you you know, heard somebody else say it at the coffee shop, you had actually done some research, you had an idea of what you wanted it to look like. And then we just put it together, which I, I mean, that's why I love this job. Like I love doing that kind of stuff. So, so it was cool. Like I've, I've learned just as much as from you as, as you have from me, I can assure you. So I really appreciate that whole process. Before we started working together and, and even in the beginning, I think you started with me in like October of of 2019 or 2020 or whatever but then um you you ended up quitting your job about seven months later i think is is if i remember correctly um tell me a little bit about that because like i said you had a you had a good job um it was it was a comfortable you know it maybe wasn't the lifestyle that you wanted or, or whatever but it was comfortable tell me about transitioning away from that job and becoming a full-time agent how did that all come together like what was what was your process? Because I know you had to put a lot of thought into that whole that whole move. It, it was not an easy decision, I'm sure. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I think you're about right. Is it was probably you know six or months or so from uh, from the time that I started working with with you and also got you know, <clears throat> well, like I, my first deal came along so quickly after we started working together that. And and then also it, it closed quickly and I had a paycheck and so it, you know that that may not have that's probably not the I don't know how typical that is for other people but that was my experience and and so because of of that success um, early on and and of course you were always saying hey you're going to do what, like don't worry about your other job you're going to do well you know it'll be fine and then lo and behold you know it, I started doing the stuff that you were saying to do and, and work in the leads. And I got lucky and found one that was ready to go. And, and so really from that point, I, I did feel like, Oh man, this is, this is going to work. I think I can do this. That first one, you know, I just got to replicate this process and keep doing it over and over again and, and scale it and, and whatever. And so really early on, I felt like, okay, I know what, uh, I, I know that I can be successful at this. But my job was just so good. And I love the people that I worked with there. And so it really wasn't, 
it, it was less about the fear of, am I going to be successful in real estate? Because you weren't only, not only were you, you know, pushing me forward, but you were also connecting me with everybody else in the network who was also being successful. And many of those people were right in my area. And so it's like, you know, if they can do it, I can do it. And so like I was seeing that other people were doing it, doing the same thing that I was trying to do in the same way or more or less. And so um, it really wasn't a fear that I wasn't going to be successful. It was a fear of leaving a great job that where there were people that I loved and, and uh, really enjoyed working with and, and felt like I was moving, you know, in the right direction of that job. But I just didn't have the right life work balance. And that's what I really wanted was to be able to be at home more. And, and so ultimately, that's what did it. So it took me seven months to kind of build up the courage to leave that other job. Uh, not because I didn't feel like I could hack it in real estate, I think because and by that time, I had, I'd had a few transactions by the time I left uh, that job, it was just that I it was it was great. And it was comfortable. And, and I liked the people there. And, and so um, that that yeah, I get me. I don't know. I don't know if that's unique or not. But uh, that was that was my experience. I, I, I remember that you and I had a few conversations about towards the end of that time because you got you did you got busy really quickly and everything was was really going well for you to to the point where that job became an, uh, a liability it became difficult right yep. and I remember it having did. a lot of conversations where it's like I don't know like I need to take the day off so that I can go do real estate you know and I, I don't want to let them down and, yep. and then even to the point where I mean you you had been there for a while you were obviously uh, a, a really important piece to that company. They asked you to stay an extra 30 days, I think, to help kind of transition you out of your role, which was probably the most painful 30 days for you. Because I remember you were just crazy busy trying to trying to do right by them, but you had your business was exploding. Yeah, I, uh, that's exactly how I would describe it. it just it was it got to the point where I, trying to do two things halfway wasn't working. And I knew that I was going to be just fine in real estate. And so it just, it just took me a while to let go of those people that I really cared about, you know, yeah. for all the people who are in a similar situation that maybe they're, they're in a nine to five, they're trying to make that jump, but you know, especially with family, I mean, now you've got, you've got three little ones, right? You've, you've got a beautiful wife. The important thing for you to leave was, to spend more time with your family, to be, to be more, uh, in the mix with that. What was it like with your, with your wife and, and making that move? Cause I'm sure that was stressful. I'm sure that there were, there were, you know, especially on the outside, she's just hoping it all comes together. Was, how did that transition happen? How did that, that conversation happen when you said, when you decided, okay, now's the time I've, I've got to make this move. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, you know, I, I had worked so many jobs, you know, leading up to this that were quite high stress and demanding. It would keep me away from the house quite a bit. And so with a new baby at the time, I think, you know, she was just as excited to get me home as I was. Um, and, and very supportive, you know, of course we were worried about, you know, paying the bills at the end of the day, but, but, uh, Kelsey was then and has still always been a really, you know, huge support in terms of, um, you know, just, just pushing me to, to do what is right for our family, you know? And, and I think that we both had that vision that this was, that this was what our family needed. This was kind of the, what we, we wanted to start this, you know, from, uh, we, you know, I, I didn't want to, you know, have the, have our children's youth go by and me not be there for it, you know? And, and I mean, there, and there's not, you know, I, I, I probably honestly might have been content to continue to work these other jobs, you know, but I, but really she, she coming together with her and finding out that that was her goal too. And having, having dialogue about that uh, and then getting behind that goal together and working towards it. And so, so that meant that we had to, you know, put in a little bit of a budget and we, and we did work really hard for kind of the months leading up to that transition to, um, to make sure that we had a little bit of a reserve, you know, that, and that, yeah, I think maybe not every family wants or needs to do that, but that was, you know, felt important to us. And so there was a, that was, that was kind of how we cho chose to make that transition a little less stressful, but, um, you know, yeah, it, it, uh, it all just worked out, you know, and I think that 
I think because we were on the same page, you know, it, it worked out, you know, and, and so even though it was stressful, especially in the beginning where we were working, we didn't know, we didn't really know what the destination was going to look like. So we felt like we had to work extra hard in the beginning and, and she was supportive all throughout that That's as awesome. well. Well, one thing I know about you is you're a planner. So I'm sure you had a plan yeah. which probably made her feel a lot better about things. And then the fact that you set some money aside, you had, you had, you know, a rainy day fund and things like that obviously makes things better that way too. But I'm sure because I know you worked your tail off while you were working the other job and getting the real estate business going. So many agents think that, you know, they'll get the real estate business going and then they'll quit their other job, but they don't realize that that, that means you have two full-time jobs, right? You're trying to replace a full-time job. You can't do that without working full-time in the new one. So I'm sure that that alone probably helped her be like, okay, yeah, let's, let's let go of the other job yeah. and just, yeah, I can get at least half your time back. It, yeah, it was, uh, it, it definitely got a little worse before it got better. You know, we, we working the two jobs, it just, it just got to the point where we, we, well, and really what motivated this was, wasn't so much about the money. It was about the time, you know, we were actually okay with having a little less money if we had more time together. And so, um, just wiping out my commute every day, you know, an extra I, I had I had about a two hour commute to get to a two hour an hour each way to get to work. And so adding that on to an already, you know, eight, nine, ten hour day, um, you know, really made long, long days. And so just getting that those two hours back in the commute was huge. And then also being able to be a little bit flexible with the with the work, you know, that if if we needed to go to an appointment together, we could go do that. And then I could come back and, you know, put in a couple hours on, on the phone when I got home. And, and that was exactly what we wanted was flexibility, control over our time. And, and, and so we, we kind of got everything that we wanted with, with making that transition. That's awesome. That's awesome. And never look back. Right. I mean, it's, it's been all up yeah. from there or all downhill, however you want to look at it. It's been all good. Yeah. From there. <laughs> yeah. Can you give me and, and the people watching this kind of an overview of your experience overall? We've talked about a lot of the, the pieces, but how is your experience for somebody that's that's maybe looking to coach with me or join the Accelerate program? What can they expect? Like, what's your overall experience been? Yeah, I my experience has been great. You know, it's just to start with that, that uh, in fact, I was just reflecting, you know, that um if I can even call you a boss, it feels like you're my closest thing to a boss. If it, that you're probably the first boss that I uh, haven't uh, that that I've that I've consistently gotten along with, and and I think you're also the first person that's asked asked the best of me. You know, like I, I think that um, uh, you know, often our bosses kind of become mentors, and so you kind of fulfill that role. You know, and and helping push you help me push my business further and stuff and and uh but just what is different i feel like than so many other situations i've been in is that we both win together you know this isn't this isn't uh i have to lose for you to win kind of a situation we both are are going to better each other's lives by being a part of each other's lives and so you have this wealth of experience and and years of experience and all this know-how and so the overall experience I feel like has been the the consistency in in our in our meeting that you've been you've been right there every week that you know that that we had a, a call scheduled and and uh, that you've consistently remembered our commitments and followed up with them and that you've connected me with other people in our in kind of a network that uh, that have helped me to because I mean. So, so when you're a part of a mentoring kind of a situation, there's always, maybe there's a thought of, is this really, you know, d is the juice really worth the squeeze? What's the art? Like, are they just blowing smoke or is there, is there truth to this? And so not only was I able to hear that from you, but, and, and, and then try to implement those things, but then also hear it from other people in the network of, of, uh, the community of, of them doing similar things and having similar results and, that you know so so when it, when somebody else just like me does it to me that's all the that's a lot of proof that i need you know it'd be one thing if you went out there and had a lot of success as a real estate agent because you've been doing it for 20 30 years or however long and so 
I, but for me to have success as what feels like a new agent, uh, it, it, it doesn't feel like you and I are on the same plane, but you, you were quick to keep me, you know, keep me informed about what other people were doing and the success that they were having doing the same thing. And that was, that made a huge difference to see other, uh, other people kind of like me having success also. And, and then also, then it validated everything that you were teaching. So, um, I, I think that the community aspect has been really great. Um, but also the really, you know, I don't talk to those people all that often, the, the one-on-one communication that I've had with you. And then also being able to reach out and get some help on specific instances outside of our typical scheduled times. Um, and you've never seemed like you were too busy you know, for any of that either, which I think is, is huge. I never, I've never felt like I was bothering you to, to ask you some questions. Yeah, I appreciate that. And that, that's what I love about this community is that we, we don't have to go it alone. We don't have to figure it out the slow way. So many agents out there that, I've, you know, they, they're just trudging uphill and they, you know, they have to figure it all out themselves and they have to, they have to learn the hard way. And that's what I did. I, I learned the hard way. I, I always say I stumbled forward which luckily I was stubborn enough to do that, but it, there's a better way, you know, you can, you can do it a faster way. And if we can learn from somebody's successes or their failures, like that to me just makes sense. It's just, it's just a lot faster, not to mention just on coaching calls and when, you know, on our Q and A's and things like that, I, sometimes I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not impervious to having bad days or, or, um, being down or feeling like, things aren't going to work, you know, aren't working out. Like, I think we all go through that. So sometimes I jump on calls with you and, and I would get in a better mood because everything in your life was going great and your business was cranking. And I'm like, okay, we're, we're going to be okay. You know, like we're, we're all kind of in the same boat sometimes. So I think it's, it's important to have that community around you. And some agents out there have that with their brokerages, but a lot of them don't, a lot of them just feel like they're on their own and, and they're trying to figure it out. So that's that's what we try to create here is something that you can be a part of so that you're not doing this alone, you know? It, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, well, that's that that definitely is is a big part of it that um and I, I think that the reason why I, you know, why I connected with you, to, you know, to get this coaching was I didn't feel like I could waste any time. You know, I, I felt like I, I'd probably be okay, you know, once I got it figured out, but I didn't want to waste time reinventing the wheel, you know, and, and, and you were able to, you were able to give me suggestions, blueprints, you know, templates of, of what to do and what to say. And, and then I could tweak them, you know, if I felt like I, it wasn't totally for me and, you know, but, but to have that foundation cut out so much of a learning curve and where I was leaving a good job that I was happy at, in a lot of ways and, and, uh, and also had some mouths to feed and, and didn't feel like I could really waste time, right. um, screwing around with, I don't know, a bunch of hot air. It was, we were able to quickly get to the meat and potatoes of, of, of how to make a, you know, a successful real estate business and then, and then implement them and then see the fruits of that and then continue to duplicate it. And then quickly, very quickly, I, realized that, you know, I wasn't going to need that job for much longer. And, uh, and so that, that really, um, was, you know, was huge for me to not have to reinvent the wheel, to just be able to come in quickly, figure it out and, and move forward. And so like, like you're saying, like accelerate, you know, I mean, it just, it just, it pushed me forward, you know, quickly. And I didn't have to figure out all the stupid learning curve, you know, stumble through it kind of thing. Cause I was just able to start with what does work and then implement my own strategies over time. Yeah. I like that. And like you said it best implementing that's, that was the key. And I, I can't say it enough. Like you did, you've done such a good job implementing and creating and planning and just, but just going out and doing so many, so many times that's, that's really what's holding us back is we just got to go do it. And, and you're really good at that. So I commend you on all that. Thank you. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's been awesome working with you. Like it, it's been, it's been a great experience for me too. So I, you know, the feeling is mutual. Any parting thoughts for an agent that's maybe thinking about joining Accelerate, you know, maybe they're starting out, maybe they've been doing this for a while, whatever. They're not sure 
what direction to take. Any any final thoughts or, or um, advice that you could give an agent in that situation? Yeah. Well, if you're just starting out, you know, then this is a way to cut through the BS. You know, there. I think that there are any broker out there is going to tell you that they will help you uh, or, or that, you know, by, by being with their brand that you're going to have all this success. But at the end of the day, the work is going to have to come out of you and, and working with Micah uh, has accelerated, you know, the learning curve of, of starting out fresh. And so if you feel like you've got some relevant experience to real estate, whether it's sales or, or homes or working with people or whatever that I think that's great. And then what, and that's how I felt. And then working with Micah helped me implement, you know, a few winning strategies right off the bat that, that got me, you know, my first couple of deals and, and, and helped me kind of get, get over the big hump. Um, if you are already in this business, then I feel like the, may, maybe you feel like you've been, you've worked with a broker before who didn't follow up wasn't consistent, didn't have the time or means to, to, um, to help coach you. And so you feel like maybe you feel like if you just had a little more support that, or, and maybe just a gentle kind of, you know, nudge, um, maybe you feel like you could do a lot better in your business. And, and the gentle nudge that I got was our weekly one-on-one -on -one call and, and writing down and following up with commitments and, you know, so there were, there were, ne there were never any quotas or anything like that. It was just, it was just uh, Hey, how are you? How can I help you? How, how can I help things to improve? And that was enough for me to keep, you know, me as a very distractible person, uh, <laughs> going, you know, so, so talking with other friends in the industry, it does seem like they often are very unsupported by their broker. And so this is a way I feel like to get the gentle nudge that you need to just keep your, your, uh, your business moving forward. That's great advice. I really appreciate your time. I know that you're a busy man. So thanks for doing this. I think this is going to be really good for, for people in similar situations that hopefully they can, they can make that same jump and make real estate their full-time career. So thank you.